the live stream started, what we're going to do is going to take a look at the charts and we're going to uh, go through the uh, crypto space and uh, look at um, where the other coins are. Then we're going to review some of the uh, uh, the latest latest news, and then after that we'll do a Q and A, and I'll be open for any super chats. Okay, guys. So please support the channel. Uh, so please uh, provide give us some super chats, and uh, you know help support the channel. All right. So let's look at the chart. Where are we right now? Uh, Dogecoin right now is trading at uh, 29.7, uh, 29 and uh, it went as it went as low as um, uh, I don't know 28, 28.6 on this candle here. It uh, here it touched down, and uh, it went as low as uh, 27.9. So you can see here I've, I have a red line here. This is my 27.5. This is a uh, major support line here then if I take if I if I take this support line at 27.5 then uh, my next support level uh, just draw that out for you guys so you'll see it my next major support levels are on about 21 about 21 cents so let me just clone this line for you right here clone where's my clone tool clone it and then my next major support is around here around 20 21.8 cents. So that's my next uh, support line. It's around there. Okay. So right now we're trading. Uh, we're trading between 32 and uh, 27.5, which is uh, which is our current support uh, level right there. So this is our support level here, and this is our support level here, which you guys can see in green. All right. So this is where we're trading right now. So some of you are panicking. Uh, you guys shouldn't. You shouldn't be panicking. At the end of the day, you guys need to understand one thing, and that uh, you know, crypto investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not about buying Dogecoin. Uh, you know, a week ago, or two weeks ago, or a month ago, and then suddenly becoming a millionaire. That's not. Hey, hey, Harper. So that's not how. That's not how things work. You guys need to have diamond hands. You need to be very patient in this market. It could take six months, a year, two years, four years. So you guys really just need to have diamond hands and be patient. Nothing goes up forever. Things do come down. Uh, so what I'm seeing overall right now is, you know, you can see that Dogecoin has formed a pretty large descending triangle. We can take this from the top here and we can bring it all the way down here. And you can see that Dogecoin is, is basically formed a pretty huge descending triangle and uh, the top is here and then this meets our get rid of that for you so it's easier for you guys to see where's my delete button right there so you can see we have this uh, huge descending triangle and uh, the top is here the bottom is here and then uh, this meets the uh, support line here at uh, around uh, 2028 20, so we need to stay we need to stay above this support level and before we're going to see any upside, we really need to see uh, we really need to see us break out uh, past this area. Now, remember we got uh, June 1st coming here, right, guys? Remember we talked about it, and we talked about Dogecoin on a 21-day cycle, right? So I believe that the that that you know the bottom is here. We have basically I believe that we've hit we're hit hitting bottom or close to hitting bottom. And I believe that in June there's going to be a huge upside. So I think that we're be that we're going to be going in this direction in June uh, and moving all the way up to 50 cents uh, pretty shortly. So you guys need to just stay calm, don't panic, and then I think we'll see uh, something like that. And then if on the uh, 9th we get this big announcement uh, that we're supposed to be expecting from Elon Musk or other players in the market then we could expect us to go all the way up to, to 50 cents uh, in that area. And then I'm pretty confident that uh, by the end of June, we should see ourselves trading, uh, you know, back up to these uh, levels up to 65 cents area here. 65 cents to $1 would be my targets. Okay, guys. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys and hopefully understand what's going on. 
So, you know, I'm not worried. You guys shouldn't be worried. This is just a normal correction. There's a lot of FUD. Big institutions are pushing stuff down. So you guys don't need to, you guys don't need to work. Okay. All right. So let's get into, let's take a look at the other whole coins. Bitcoin price. Let me just have some coke. Now I need you guys to smash the like. There's uh, 10 people watching and we need to uh, uh, bring up the live stream. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at where we are right now on the 24 hour. Uh, Bitcoin is down 4%. Ethereum is down 9.9%. Uh, 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 BNB is also down. Uh, ADA is down. XRP is down 10%. Uh, Doge is down 6%. So, you know, if you look at the if you look at the total market cap, it's 1.48 trillion, and uh, right now the the whole market is down 7%. So from that perspective, uh, Dogecoin is uh, still uh, doing better than the total crypto market in terms of percentage wise. So, you know, the fundamentals for Doge have not changed, guys. Uh, the fundamentals are still good. There's a lot of positive news. Yesterday I talked about a U.S. convenience store uh, accepting Doge. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of positive news out there. You guys just need to take a chill pill and uh, you know, not panic, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Don't panic, guys. Uh, there's still a lot of positive news out there. So overall, you can see that the markets are down uh, a lot. And, you know, we're anticipating that, you know, Sunday is going to, Sunday US time is going to be pretty bloody out there. Uh, we're going to see a lot of, um, a, lot, a lot more dips. I mean, I'm expecting Bitcoin to probably go down to, you know, as low as uh, 31,000, even maybe test 30,000. So if that happens, you know, we could see uh, Dogecoin going down to around 25. But I'm not worried because I know that we have uh, we have major support uh, around 27 here, and then we have major support at 21. So I don't I don't see I don't see us going lower than 21. Uh, and I still believe that this is significant support here and I st still think that we're going to tra trade in this channel and I think uh, by June 1st, which is here, we could see uh, a major breakout. So I think June is just going to be uh, phenomenal uh, for uh, Dogecoin, my Doge army. Woof, woof. Let's go. So you can see here that, you know, we've had a major uh, convenience store chain. They announced that they're going to be accepting uh, cryptocurrency uh, and one of the one of the currencies that they're going to be talking about uh, that they're going to be accepting is going to be you know ethereum doge uh, so i think this is really good news for you guys uh, that you know doge is having more and more utilities uh, day by day so this is really bullish news for everybody uh, because you know people are not going to be going and buying a uh, uh, you know, coffee with Ethereum, you know, they're not going to be bought because, you know, the gas fee on Ethereum is really high right now. So who's going to use Ethereum? Because one, the speed is slow. The gas fees are high. Same with Bitcoin. Who's going to go buy a coffee at a convenience store with a Bitcoin because the fees are high. The transaction speed is low. So they are, they're going to be accepting Dogecoin. And we know that Dogecoin is a winner because transaction speed is fast and the fees are low. So there's more utility, etc., etc. Okay, guys. So overall, you guys don't need to panic. Uh, Dogecoin is looking fantastic. Uh, and the only reason that Dogecoin is getting beaten up right now is because the, Dogecoin, the uh, BTC price is down. So overall, I'm not panicking. I mean, uh, you know, year to date, we're still up uh, 11,000, you know, 11,000 percent. So nothing to panic about uh, for the for the month. We're only down. Uh, 0.40 percent so we're not even down one percent over a month so you know guys stop panicking seven days down 13 percent uh 24 hours are down six percent but in the last hour we're up 1.83 percent guys we're up we're up almost two percent in the last hour so i wouldn't panic too much 
you know, this seven day we had the big uh, we had the big uh, flash crash that took us down. But overall, you guys don't need to panic, okay? All right. So that's about it in terms of that. So let's uh, let's dive into the news and then we we'll get into Q and A. All right. So daily huddle, uh Q and A wise, top analyst says two altcoins showing strength and ability to bounce back faster than the rest. Uh, so you guys, you you guys should uh, be looking at the news. Daily huddle is really good. I like it. So you should take a look at that. Uh, will crypto competitors surpass Bitcoin? Here's the truth about Bitcoin. So you know Michael Saylor, he's really bullish on Ethereum. He thinks that um, Ethereum is going to overtake Bitcoin in the future. It's possible uh, because remember the difference between Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin is Bitcoin is just a common store of value. It really doesn't do much. But Ethereum is definitely, uh, you can build stuff on a smart contract, NFT, DeFi, so it's really a good play. All right, so uh, let's take a look at this. So let's take a look at uh, uh, the uh, Doge uh, price analysis. So Doge has maintained itself uh, above a strong line support of uh, 29.1 at the time of writing, but bearish still persists in the market. The squeeze momentum indicator registered a series of white dots and indication of a squeeze release. If if losses uh, accentuate over the coming sessions, Doge could break south from its ascending triangle and head towards the targets mentioned in the analysis. So an extremely bearish outcome could even see Doge fall towards the defensive area between 0 0.09 cents and, and 0 0.14 cents. I don't think that's going to happen, guys. So like I said, from my perspective, I don't think Doge is going to fall down to these targets. I still think that, like I said, we have some major support uh, around this line here, uh, my 27 cent line. So I believe that we're going we're gonna to trade sideways and then we're going to break out of this resistance here. And then uh, when we hit June, we're going to go up. And I think, you know, Doge is pretty much uh, more resistance. Um, resistant uh, than other altcoins right now, uh, as you can see here. You know, Doge is uh, Doge is faring pretty good, guys. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. You know, the whole market is cap has just gone down again, minus 7.3 percent. So Dogecoin is is still faring pretty is better than the total market cap down. Uh, so we're still okay. So guys, don't panic. Uh, you know, you guys need to buckle up because Sunday, Sunday could be a little bit messy, could be a little bit bloody. So I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, guys. So uh, listed Canadian firm, Hello Pal, buys Dogecoin, Litecoin mining uh, startup for 3.5 billion. So you know, we have a, a company in Canada. Uh, what they've done is they've just invested in the Litecoin mining and they're for 3.5 million and they're going to start doing uh, mining operations. So that's positive news, right guys? So people are still uh, investing in, in Doge mining and different infrastructures. All right. Excellent. Okay. So let's take a look at here. And so this is just, this is just a breaking news. We got JP Morgan boss, Jamie Dimon personally advises people to stay away from uh, cryptocurrency. I mean, this is just FUD, guys, because in, in 2017, uh, Jamie Dimon said the same thing about uh, Bitcoin, that, you know, Bitcoin is no good, Bitcoin is dead, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, you know, they're just, they're just spreading FUD because the whales, what they want to do is they want to be able to buy Bitcoin at a cheaper price uh, and uh, they want to take your Bitcoins from you because they want, they want to, they want to uh, you know, exert control over the crypto space because institutions are getting in now, but institutions don't want to buy at the top, they want to buy at the bottom. So we can see that, uh, you know, overall the Bitcoin price is, um, you know, it's been going down for a while. This is on the four hour. Let's take a look at the daily. So you can see here that this is a big flash crash that we had here. You know, we basically we were having some side uh, sideways consolidation. Uh, between uh, the 41 area and 30. Remember, we got us we got us low on this candle here. We got as low as 30. Uh, I think we're going to be re I think we'll be retesting that soon because there seemed to be major support uh, around uh, 30,000. I don't think we're going to go go below 30,000. Once we touch that, then we're going to probably bounce off 
and then have our next level leg up. That's just my my uh, my uh, opinion. All right, guys. So that's about it from my side. This is just a quick update. Uh, you can check out Decrypt as well. Uh, so this is just a, a quickie, quickie uh, update from my side. So what I want to do now, guys, is um, let's uh, do some Q&A. So if you have any questions, uh, please ask the questions now. And uh, please uh, feel free to uh, uh, send me a super chat. I would appreciate that. And uh, if you don't have super chat enabled uh, in your location, you can always uh, buy a coffee for me as well. All right, guys. So I've just sent a link to uh, to the free charting tool. So the charting tool that you guys see me using every day is called the Aurox Terminal. I've sent a link down. I've sent a link for you guys here, and uh, it's 100% free. You guys are gonna love it. I love it, and uh, yeah, check it out because it's really good because you get news and stuff, and you get updates, and you get live feeds and, and warnings and stuff. So you can set warnings when prices go down, etc. So. Yeah, okay, so let's, uh, and I'm going to send you the link to the, the coffee.com. So if you want to buy a coffee for this channel, support the channel, please uh, do that. All the uh, uh, all the proceeds will go to charity. So let's get into the Q&A. we got 19 people in the house. Please smash the like. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So now is the time to start asking your questions. All right, so now is the time. Any questions out there? Anybody have any questions? Let's see. Uh, Sophie is asking. Uh, my sell price is one dollar. Yeah, you know, you guys need to hold, uh, keep firm. Definitely one dollar is going to get there very soon, guys. So don't panic. Okay. All right. Any more questions out there? Hey, Red Rose, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat space. All righty. Thank you, Red Rose, for buying me a coffee. I appreciate that. Any more, uh, any more questions out there? All right, guys. Uh, if there's no more questions from anybody on the live stream, uh, then I will go ahead and I will uh, stop the live stream. So uh, this is your last opportunity to ask a question, and then I'm going to end the live stream. All right, guys. So. I just want to wish everybody a fantastic day, be well, be blessed, and uh, uh, peace.